some sports car makers are trying to mitigate the worst traits of the breed. But Chevrolet isn't. It's just focused on speed. Especially when it's built like our tester, the Z06 is an uncompromising take on speed and performance, a vehicle that it takes a madman to drive daily, and one of the best performance bargains on the market. The standard Corvette is inconvenient because it's wide, loud, and low. So of course, the Corvette Z06 is wider, louder, and lower. And then it sits on firmer suspension and rides atop wider tires with smaller sidewalls. But our test model takes things further with its Z07 package. Stickier, louder Michelin Pilot Sport 2 cup tires are fitted, along with Brembo carbon ceramic brakes. Unique aerodynamic treatments designed for increased downforce at speed are also on hand. And of course, this is still a Corvette Z06. That means there's a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with overhead valves as the Corvette gods intended with 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. And that's almost too much. Even with these stickier tires, it's kind of hard to rein in that power. The back end wants to squiggle around. But it also sounds very, very good when you stand on it. Our test car has a seven speed manual transmission. The clutch is light and manageable. There's a really solid, predictable catch point. It's very easy to work the pedal. And even the shifter, getting into gears, it doesn't require strong arming. I also really like the rev matching feature. Now, you can rev match the Corvette yourself if you really feel like you need to. You just press these paddles right here and it turns the rev matching off. But if I turn them on, it makes up a little bit for the fact that the Corvette has a sluggish throttle. I'm gonna go from three to two. Quick, fast, predictable. Our test car Z07 package adds Michelin Pilot Sport 2 cup tires and carbon ceramic brakes. The tires provide insurmountable levels of grip. You couldn't unglue it from the road with a pry bar, but they're also very, very loud. I'm only going about 33 miles an hour right now, and there's a lot of tire roar. It's much worse at freeway speeds. And because the tires are so wide, you've got 335s in the back. That means it kind of wanders around and hits basically every pothole that you come across. The carbon ceramic brakes are among some of the best I've experienced. When you go with carbon ceramics in a car, you compromise the pedal feel a little bit. It's, it's difficult to modulate, it's hard to predict, they get a little bitey and over-aggressive. The Corvette, I had to check the Monroney to make sure that it actually had carbon ceramics. There's just enough pedal travel that you can dial in the exact amount of stopping force that you want. So if I come to a complete stop, I can do it gently, 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 without giving them much thought. The Z06 with the Z07 package is not cheap at $80,000 for the Z06 and then $8,000 for the Z07 package, but I'm really not sure that there's a better performance bargain on the market. Yes, it's kind of silly to say about an $88,000 car or like ours, $106,000, but when you get this much power and performance and agility and grip, in one simple package like this, it's hard to ignore how good of a value that is. The suspension is magnetic dampers. It's a GM performance car. You can't really be surprised by that. They're excellent. Now, yes, the ride is firm. This is basically a track car, but even on Michigan's third world roads like this, it's not that bad. I drove this on a long freeway drive and aside from the sheer noise from the, the tires and the suspension, it wasn't all that uncomfortable. The competition seats, which you can see me sitting in right now, are great. There is so much support and they're not uncomfortable on long drives. I could easily do 200 miles in these chairs without thinking about it. They are really fantastic. I do wish though they were a little bit taller. You look here, it kind of stops at the back, middle of the back of my head and I wouldn't mind a little bit more headrest from them. 
If you're taller and you plan on taking this car to the track, there's also another problem. I'm about six foot one, I'm not very long-legged and not very tall of torso, but I don't have a ton of headroom. I'm really not sure that I could fit in here with a helmet on in a comfortable seating position. I'd have to put the chair back, something like this, and then I just look silly. And it's kind of hard to drive and reach the steering wheel. Like past Corvettes, the Z07 packages taxing to drive daily. Those wide, sticky tires, enormous 335s in back with 285s up front, produce huge amounts of noise on everything but freshly laid blacktop. They also tend to follow the road a little too well, causing the Z06 to feel twitchy while changing lanes on less than good roads. Imperfections always make their presence known with noise, but despite the thin sidewalls, the magnetic suspension does a surprisingly good job at hiding all but the biggest bumps. This is by no means a grand tour, but the ride is better than expected of a track-focused vet. Our Corvette Z06 with the Z07 package rings up at $105,115. That's not a lot of money for supercar-like performance. If you're willing to live with the madness that the Corvette requires, it'll put an asylum-worthy smile on your face.